Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of my multi-tool discussion vlog. All right, you are at the We All Juggle Knives channel covering multi-tools today. So what will you see in this episode? Well, number one, the price on that SOG multi-tool has finally reached reasonability. The price has gone down $15 from what it was to now where I can recommend it, and I will tell you why. All right, next, and then after that, we're going to do a roundup of comments and criticisms of the new Leatherman Free T4. Right, and then good, a lot of good news in the budget department uh, these days. That multi-tool, it's now being sold by ProReady, and the price on that has decreased to uh, around uh, $15, $16. Anything under $20 is good. It used to be, it used to be $25, so... Uh, yeah, the price has gone down on that, and it is worth it. Uh, WorkPro also came out with a new budget tool. That's $20, and it could go down further, but definitely worth the $20. I'll give you a tour of that. And Byberry has a new tool. Uh, this is around $32. It's a competitor to the Gerber uh, NXT and Gerber Truss at that price. And I, I will give you an overview of that and my opinion on that multi-tool. So lots of stuff to discuss. I hope you enjoy this episode and all relevant links will be included in the text description box. Now this multi-tool is the SOG PowerPlay. I've got some good news on this. The price on this has finally gone down to a level where I can actually recommend it for that price. Uh, Amazon has lowered the price to $40. For a while this thing was, for a long time, this was like $55, which just, I, I didn't feel it was worth it at that price, and that's why you've never seen this in my uh, multi-tool vlog until now. Just a few days ago, I was checking prices, and yeah, it's down to 40 That is an excellent price, right? And that's not some store, that's Amazon itself, right? So they have these in their warehouse, and their computer program, which I believe, you know, manipulates their prices, in its wisdom... It made this 40 so even if that price goes up, it will toggle back down. It, like, you know, that's my experience with their algorithm. So I will include the link and you can check if it's 40 It's been 40 for a few days now. So that is an excellent price. All right, let's review what are all the tools actually on this thing. On this side, it has a plain edge blade, a fully serrated blade, can opener, bottle opener, and three screwdrivers. On this side it has a metal file, a wood saw, a micro screwdriver, another screwdriver, and an awl. And it also has your typical multi-tool pliers. They are not spring-loaded, but it does have the compound leverage system, and it's got the uh, wire cutters. Keep in mind, these gears here, that's the compound leverage system. They make the opening on this really smooth, like to the point that you can easily open it one-handed, right, because of that. And they also multiply your force. So if you really need to grip something hard, that is a good feature. Also keep in mind there is a bit driver in there. So for example, here's a, a bit, an extension and a socket, right? So it actually has a built-in bit driver and it will accept standard size bits, right? So that, that bit set right there, that's from my Ganzo multi-tool and then that extension uh, it came with one of my Schrade knives believe believe it or not so the bottom line on this tool set it's actually pretty good every major tool you could think of except no scissors All right but then again I love my rebar and it doesn't have scissors I love my super tool and it doesn't have scissors so yeah everything but the scissors and for forty dollars it is actually a very comprehensive tool set now the one on Amazon right now comes with a bit set, a very nice bit set. When I bought mine years ago, it didn't have a bit set, so I just use uh, my old Ganzo bit set with it. But you're going to get a better bit set for the one that's being sold now. And also, the current one in the link, they have a different sheath, because that's a minimalist sheath, but the current one has a sheath that can accommodate the bit set. And also, the current sheath it's more comfortable because with this sheath, like the bottom of the tool kind of sticks out and it can actually just kind of, those gears can actually push into your leg. So you're getting a better sheath than I got years ago and 
you're getting the bit kit included. So I'm glad they've finally seen the light and reduced the price on this to something that's super reasonable. $40, yeah. When I bought this years ago, uh, I bought it for $48 and it didn't even include the bit kit or the better sheath. So $40, yeah, that's definitely an improvement. Just last month it was $55 and it had been $55 for a long ass time. Right, so 40, I definitely can recommend it. Of course, it's not a perfect multi-tool, but relative to its price, it's giving you a lot of value. All right, I will include that Amazon link. Check it out. If the price fluctuates, don't worry. It will toggle back down. And if it goes even below 40, hey, who knows? Maybe on Christmas week, it'll go below 40. That's a definite buy. All right, so don't be afraid to pull the trigger on this if, if you need this tool set. All right, so good, good job, SOG. At least, at least some companies doing some decent pricing, albeit on an older tool. So this is the new Leatherman Free T4, right? My thoughts on this? Well, I've already done a full demonstration review of that tool. So if you want the in-depth demo and discussion, I'll include that link in the text description box and you can check that out. But so what has been the reaction to this T4? Well, I got good news for Leatherman and bad news. The bad news is that the reaction has been uh, pretty much critical and negative. The good news is that many people like it a little bit more than the P4, right? Because most of the commenters did feel that both of these were overpriced, but there's a difference between, you know, $140 overpriced versus 60. 60 people can kind of swing it a little better, like even if they feel they're paying a little too much. Um, yeah, so this, I, it's hard to find anyone who's bought this except for, you know, curiosity or just wanting to review it or just test it out for themselves. Whereas I actually did hear from a bunch of people that bought this, just right, regular consumers, right? Some people said they bought it and then they returned it because they didn't like it, but at, at least they tried it out. Right. And, you know, good for you. If something doesn't suit your needs, go ahead and return it. You know, that that's smart. So what were people not liking about this? Well, the uh, the half file, people don't like that half file for the same reason they don't like it on the P4. Right. They just think it's halfway and half assed. Uh, another thing people did not like is the all. You see, they put a screwdriver tip at the end of the awl, which just looks weird, you know. When you see an awl, you want to see something that's very pointed and can pierce, because it's a piercing tool. Now, in my demo video, I did show that, yeah, it can pierce, and you can use it as a reamer as well, but it would, it would pierce better if it was more pointed. That's uh, just obvious. There's just something unnatural about an awl that's not as pointed as it can be. So a lot of people don't like that. They you know, I feel like they could have just given you that small screwdriver in some other way. You know, they could just crammed in another screwdriver and then given you a conventional awl and, and it would have been good. So that, that is one complaint from people as well. And one of the strengths of this is it does have four screwdrivers, which is pretty mundane but useful. But there were people saying they would just prefer a bit driver instead of four screwdrivers. But this thing has a pocket clip, so... Um, you, you'd have to carry the bits separately, I guess. But yeah, I mean, the same was said about this, this, which um, it would make sense if this had a bit driver. I mean, uh, all the other, the, the, well, the good selling Leathermans like the Wave, they have, uh, have their bit driver. And another complaint people had was this plastic here. This is what they call their lightweight compact frame. All right, and I think they did do this for to save weight. I don't think they were trying to cheap out, but nonetheless, when this thing is $60, people did focus on this, and they basically said, ah, it's just got a big chunk of cheap plastic in there. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, uh, you know, if you're going to price it at 60, people are going to pick you apart for stuff like that, whereas if this were 30, you know, they might not have cared as much, but yeah, that's a word on the street. Got a lot of comments about the uh, plastic in there. So is the news all bad on this? Should like no one buy it? I wouldn't go that far that no one should buy it. 
I, I will say that most people would probably just buy a Victorinox Super Tinker or Deluxe Tinker, uh, mainly because of the price difference. And also, Victorinox like has models that'll do almost all the things that this can, but in a more compact package. So who should buy this? Uh, people with large hands that just don't like the Swiss knives specifically because they are smaller and if you have really large hands maybe you don't like that. So if you actually want something that's thick and chunky and can do the same functions then maybe people with large hands could buy it. Also just diehard Leatherman fans, people who dislike Victorinox, like let's say you had a Swiss knife and it broke at the wrong time and you just you were just triggered and scarred forever. Well then I, I guess if you never buy Swiss then uh, this is an alternative. Uh, yeah, but in general, uh, most people will probably buy something else. Um, I, w I mean, I won't say not to buy it. It has some gimmicky things that are okay. I mean, you know, the, the one-handed opening. Victorinox do doesn't have one-handed opening on most of their stuff. And the fact that it locks, you know, again, like, um, you know, Victorinox has a few locking knives, but... This has all the tools lock, all right? And some of the things are just a little better. Like, where, where's the, um, the, what I call the good, <laughs> the good screwdriver on this? Um, I mean, that's one nice, that's a nice screwdriver. It's got reach, it's not gonna break. You know, that's like a bit better of a screwdriver than the equivalent on uh, most of my Swiss knives. So, it does have some benefits. I don't want to be one-sided and just totally biased against it. Uh, it does have some benefits. Look, yeah, you'll have to make up your own mind. If you need more details, just check out my full demo review. It's like 20, more than 20 minutes of this thing, I think. So, yeah, there you go. That's, that's the good and the bad, you know, an objective and a mixed review, a mixed opinion. I'd give this maybe a 3 out of 5. If that, so just, just average, just borderline. And I have more good news in the pricing department. This thing has gone down in price. Now this is my Henstrong multi-tool, but Henstrong no longer sells this. There's other companies that sell it now. This was about $20, I think, when I got it a long time ago. And then the price went up to like 25 30 Well, now the price has gone way down to 15 because uh, ProReady is now marketing this. I guess. These are all, you know, they're all made in the same factory, just different brands will purchase a number of them. So ProReady is now going to sell you this for $15. Like $20 was already a good deal if you watch my full review of it I did a while ago. But $15, that is, I mean, this is a lot better than most of the other $15 tools, primarily because of the tool set and the extra heavy construction. Now this does have one-handed opening on all the four, the four major tools, right? And they all lock as well. It has, kind of like on the Wave, it, it has a liner lock. All right, so that is good. Yeah, the frame on this is really heavy and thick. Like, they basically had to put those cutouts there because if they didn't with how thick this is that it would be just uncarryable but as it is it's still it's still heavy and yeah it's it's well made now this has a combo edge blade it has a file it has a saw and it has this combination tool for the uh, longer slots right but thank god they didn't put the fully serrated blade because these cheap multi-tools they never do serrations right so they gave you that double opener and screwdriver and wrench tool, is that combo tool, instead of scissors or instead of a badly done serrated blade. So that is actually a good design compromise for this price range. It also has a line cutter. It's got a bit driver at the end of one of the handles and it comes with two double sided bits. So that'll be four screwdrivers for the bit driver. Right, and it has a glass breaker as well, and of course the pliers with wire cutters. So you get all that for your $15, and it is also very heavily constructed. It definitely does not feel flimsy at all. Right now, if you're looking for something lightweight and compact, you know, get something else if you need something lightweight. But for cheap tools, I would rather have them overbuilt than underbuilt. 
right? I don't want to think it's going to break. This is very, like the frame is very uh, thick and strong and heavy, so that's good. Reminds me of my Super Tool 300 in terms of uh, just the, the crude beefiness that'll get the job done. So yeah, like I said, I've had that for a long time. I couldn't help, I couldn't help but pick up a spare because when I saw the price was 15, I knew it was a good price. So that is the Pro Ready one. All right, and they, they did not send this to me. I, I just bought it because, hey, I see a good deal. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to either give it as a gift. I'm going to maybe give it to someone in need in my local area. I can use it to trade and barter if I'm doing a knife trade. I got such a good price, I can just kind of throw this in to a knife tra uh, trading. Uh, there's also, I can just use it as a backup. I can just stick it somewhere and I'm not going to be worried that, uh, that uh, you know, I don't want to put my... I don't want to put like my Leatherman charge in just some spare kit where it never gets used because that thing was expensive. But this, you can throw it in a spare uh, glove compartment, tackle box, wherever. So as a backup, there's always uses for something like this if you got a good price, All right? So I will include that link for as however long it lasts. If it does not, if that price does not last, you know, just keep checking back keep looking for deals through the links because, you know, that's the type of thing that could sell out, but I wanted to bring it to your attention. I'm trying to help people out that are on a tight budget. So yeah, this is, uh, this is definitely worth the price. You can check out my older review. I don't even remember what I did for the review, if it was, if it was uh, particularly well edited or not, but you'll be able to see. All right, so the link will be included. And good job on the pricing. Uh, Pro Ready has has priced it correctly, and you you better keep it at that low price. I don't like when they do like, you know, for a week it's low. Like keep it at that low price, if you can, or some other brand will. And more good news in the budget multi tool world. I saw that pop up the other day. Apparently, Work Pro now has a new model of multi tool, and it was like around twenty dollars, right? And I think it could even dip lower. That right there is the Work Pro HD, the Work Pro Heavy Duty. That is no longer on Amazon, all right? So if you got in on this, because I've done other videos on it, it started off at $40, it went down to 30, and I think towards the end, they were selling it for 25. So if you got in on that, congratulations, because now it is gone. It's just gone, and it is definitely worth um, 25 or 30, definitely. And you check out my previous reviews on that. And I do have a request for WorkPro. You need to bring this back and sell them on Amazon for... I can tell you, if you price this at $25, you are going to sell many, many, many of them. Because it's, it's definitely would be good for that price. So I don't know if they plan to put any more up, but they should. All right, but anyway, what WorkPro has done they've made a smaller version, right? So this would be like the equivalent of like a Leatherman Super Tool 300 in terms of sizing. And then that would be like the equivalent of the rebar in terms of sizing, right? So that's a reasonable length. And the other thing they've done, they've replaced the fully serrated blade with scissors. That is exactly how I would have changed this tool. Because the problem with full serrations on cheaper multi-tools, it's very hard to make the serrations good. Like those serrations are just not as good as Cold Steel's or Spyderco's or Victorinox's. So it makes total sense, just get rid of the serrations on the cheap tool and replace it with the scissors. So I definitely think that that's a, a really good upgrade to the tool set. Now they could have made the scissor, scissors a little bit longer Right, but for you know, for twenty dollars, I'm not going to complain too much. But it's I like the scissors instead of the full serrated blades. So that is smart, and you know, twenty dollars or less for the pricing. That is also very smart of WorkPro. But yeah, try to bring these back, WorkPro. You're going to sell them all day long at twenty five. And in the shorter slots, we have a can opener, a screwdriver. That's a lanyard hole. You have a real awl and reamer, another screwdriver, another screwdriver with bottle opener. This has got one-handed opening on the blade right through that hole. 
that's the locking mechanism right there so you know the tools lock and you can you can actually with some effort you can open the scissors uh, with one hand as well and again that is the lock mechanism there to me this is a very good tool set it has every major tool right, it's got the scissors it's got three screwdrivers the reamer all the only thing it does not have is a fully serrated blade and as I explained it's actually good to leave that off on less expensive tools. If you're going to go serrations, you either want elite serrations like Victorinox or just give me some different tool, right? So this is a great tool set for $20 or less. Uh, and, you know, the tools lock. So, yeah, I was definitely excited to get this. Now, of course, you know, are those scissors going to cut as well as... Uh, on my like Victorinox knives you know no, no it's a budget tool all right is the file going to be uh, some specially hardened steel that you can you know no the file is going to be made of whatever steel they had around okay so you, you gotta understand the limitations right you gotta understand the limitations of a less expensive tool but nonetheless for twenty dollars or less this is one of the best ones out there that you can get you know, I would compare it to a Leatherman, but I can't because Leatherman doesn't have any tools, multi-tools, that are even close to that price, right? So this is like the whole, the whole uh, budget end of the market is going to be dominated by stuff like this. And this is a lot better than many other cheap tools that are the same price, just better construction, better tool set. WorkPro actually makes large tools. Like, they met, make, like, socket and driver sets. They make... I think they make vices, you know, hammers. They actually make pretty much any large hunk of steel, right? So multi-tools, that's like a side thing they do. But you can tell that they have experience uh, stamping out sturdy tools because when they did make a multi-tool, it's actually uh, pretty well designed and constructed. So I will include that link. You need a budget multi-tool. I hope the price stays where it is and also WorkPro definitely try to make more of the WorkPro HD and try to get some of those up on Amazon at a reasonable price as well. Next up another good deal this is a Byberry multi-tool and the price on this was around it was around $32 right which makes it a competitor to uh, the Gerber NXT and the Gerber Truss. And I do feel it, it can um, it can pretty much hang with those multi tools in that price range. Uh, yeah, let's check out the tool set first. The longer tools are a fully serrated blade, a plain edge blade, a file, and a saw. The shorter tools on this side are a can opener with a screwdriver, another screwdriver with a bottle opener, and an awl, which is also a reamer. And on the other side. That is a bit driver. And it comes with four double-sided bits, right? So you got basically eight drivers here and then two integral drivers, right? So ten drivers on this, nice. And you have the beefy pliers head spring-loaded and it's got the wire cutters there as well. It's got one-handed opening on the four longer tools which are outboard, so that's nice. All right, and the lock is interesting on this. That's the lock for everything, right? That that lever there, you press that, and that disengages the lock. And that's also the lock for the smaller tools as well. All right, I've, I haven't seen that before, but it seems to work well. Yeah, that's also for the smaller tools as well. One thing I noticed, uh, the bit driver, you can lock it at a 90 degree angle. So that's locked right now, or you can uh, lock it there. All right, so that's cool. Now this bit driver will fit standard size bits, but they have to be extra long, right? So one way to get around that, if you have an extension like this, now you can use shorter regular bits with your socket. So, but you would have to, you would have to buy that separately, but I mean, it's glad, I'm glad that it can accommodate that. So you're not limited to just those uh, bits. This also came with this sheath, which it's got a button closure. It's, it's large enough to hold the multi-tool and the extra bits, and it has a clip on the back. So what do I think of this tool set? 
I like it for the price. It's, it's basically an everything but the scissors tool set. Because right? scissors are, they're hard to get right and they're an expensive thing to put on a multi-tool because they've got a, usually they have three different moving parts. Right, so when you're making a less expensive multi-tool, it does make sense to leave off the scissors. And in fact, even stuff like the rebar doesn't have scissors and I like my rebar just fine. All right, so it's, it's a pretty comprehensive tool set. I mean, it's got, it's got the all, two openers, more than enough screwdrivers, right? everything but the scissors, so I like it. Uh, only real complaint would be that the file, it's only a one-sided file, just on the other side there's like ruler markings. Right, so that's, that's the only thing I could find to dislike. Oh, and the serrations, you know, they're not going to be as good as uh, Victorinox or Spyderco serrations. So you're just going to have to, you know, that's something you have to understand about cheaper multi-tools, which is why I would often advise them to just not even have a fully serrated blade. But the thing is, because they left the scissors off, they're, if they're not going to put scissors there, it's an empty slot. So, I mean, they, they might as well put that there. What else uh, would they put there is the thing, right? So, yeah, possible drawbacks, the serrations and single-sided single file. But on, on the plus side, that bit driver, it just makes sense. It's beefy, it's useful, it uses uh, standard uh, sized bits, at least, um, you know, they have to be extra long, as I said. But once you got an extender, you can use standard bits, which is good. All right, so overall, I like the tool set for the price. All right, so $32 is definitely reasonable for the tool set and also for having the one-handed opening and the actual good lock mechanism. Right, it's definitely a competitor to uh, the Gerber Truss and the Gerber NXT. And I'd say, you know, I wouldn't say it's necessarily better. It hangs with them. But see, those are a little bit shorter tools with, with shorter uh, fold-out tools in them. This is a little bit larger, a little bit beefier. So yeah, and the price on this could even could even go down more. You never know. Right, so I will include a link to this, but as it is, uh, this is uh, one of the new, the new crop of actually worthwhile budget multi-tools. Now about the links, those are affiliate links. They do help the channel, so I appreciate anyone using them. And I'm not biased towards different companies. When I include, when I review a tool, I will include the competitors as well. You know, I'm not, I don't take sides. I try to be objective between companies and then let you decide. So for example, for this, I'll also include those Gerbers that are essentially competing with this well, within $10 of its price. And you can check those out, check out my Gerber Trust review, and you can make an informed decision. I'm here to help you out. All right, YouTube. Well, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the discussion vlog of Multi-Tools. Uh, all the relevant links are in the text description box for the new people. All right, try to use those links. They do help the channel. If you appreciate people trying to help you out, trying to give you uh, good budget deals, objective reviews, and just uh, casual, upbeat, and hopefully entertaining videos. All right, if you appreciate that, try to support me. This has been We All Juggle Knives. I'm out.